This is Norman Clark with Norman Clark Painting. Today I'm going to be showing you how to paint a kid's room. Uh, the tools that we will need for this project will be a brush, a small roller, a roller pole, a bucket and or a paint tray. And once we have those tools we'll tape up as usual, we'll put our drop cloth down to keep everything nice and clean and then we'll talk about colours. <clears throat> when choosing colours for a kid's room, the most important thing is to bear in mind the age of the child. If it's a very young child, i.e. a baby, primary colours, you know, such as a light blue or a yellow or a pink, those are traditional and they always go very nice with a very young child's room. But as you, as you know, children get older, so we may have to accommodate the child's personal needs. So always talk to your child and see what they would like and then base your decision from that. That will save a lot of headaches in the future. I put some colour choices on the wall here just so you can see what colour choices we have. We have a nice kind of a mid burnt orange here going into pinks and reds and yellows and a strong orange here with a very nice kind of a blue, uh, blue lavender grey I would call it. This is the colour I've actually chosen because the child is a young lady and she's in her teens. So this, is, this will go nicely with a young teenager. Uh, another thing to bear in mind is that we could also put stenciling, i.e. a stencil wallpaper, across the top of the, uh, the walls. That will give it a nice effect. And that's a very inexpensive thing to do. Uh, one other thing to really, really bear in mind when you're painting a child's room, especially a baby's room, is to buy a non-toxic paint. Every great paint store will have an eco-conscious paint with uh, zero VOC emissions, which means, it gives off, gives, which means it gives off very little fumes. So it's perfect for a very young child or a baby. So please bear that in mind, that's very important. Some masking tape over the frame of the door. This will keep our woodwork nice and clean as we're not going to be painting it. So I take my, my paint, I dab my brush, and I paint the edges. I cut my edge in of the color my brush like this, nice and slow. You don't have to put a lot of paint on the tape, on the edge of the tape, because we don't want paint, uh, paint getting behind the tape. So we'll cut it in nicely here. Give yourself plenty of room. You don't have to put a lot of paint, but make sure you have a coverage. Okay, once you have a, a few inches of paint, you're ready to put your roller on we're ready to roll our paint now. When we apply it, we're going to apply in a diamond crisscross fashion. That spreads the paint out evenly across the wall. So we spread the paint out nicely like this. Like this. Keep spreading the paint out. Working, keep working your paint back and forwards like this until your roller's almost dry, almost out of paint. Then it's time to just roll off to get a lovely smooth finish just like that. This is Norman Clark. Today I showed you how to paint a kid's room correctly. Thank you.